channel. So today I have an elf haul update for you guys. And I did an elf haul around two, two and a half months ago. And first of all, I do want to thank you all for sticking around because I haven't posted videos in around two months or so. A lot has been going on in my life. I recently lost my job. I had been there for over five years. So that was a very like stressful time in my life and emotional too because you know, you do get attached to people. I did make a new grandpa there and I had uh, my, as she calls it, white mom and my white dad. You know, I had great friends in there and it's just, you know, I, I feel like choked up right now. When I talk about it, I kind of want to cry because it's sad. Not just that we lost our jobs, you know, that we're not going to be seeing each other often because you do say, let's just keep in touch, but sometimes you know, most of the times, it doesn't happen. A lot of them had been there for over 40 years. So, you know, I felt terrible about that. Because I'm still young. And I could find something else, but, you know, when you're over 60, it's harder. It's sad, but it is. I also found out I have psor... Wait, what? Psoriasis? Yeah, I found out I have psoriasis. I don't know if you guys remember, but, you know, I had, like, this spot right here. And... I used to get them once a year, which I thought it was an allergic reaction, but no, apparently it's psoriasis. I do have it on my head too, which it sucks because now I have to use that shampoo. It doesn't stink or anything, but it doesn't give me volume. I don't like that. Uh, that was kind of stressful too because they gave me a cream and my skin turned white. Like wherever I put it, it was white. Makeup would not cover it. Dude, I would even put bronzer right here I like the white dot that I had and you can still see it so yeah I was like very self-conscious about it so I didn't record videos because I didn't want you guys to see me like that anyways enough of my life let me go ahead and get started with my elf haul update which basically I had two months to try all these things out and I have a lot to say about them first I'm gonna get started with the face things I got two things I got the BB cream and the tinted moisturizer so let's start with the moisturizer. This actually is not bad. It has zero coverage, like whatsoever, which <laughs> I've tried other tinted moisturizers that have like, uh, you know, low coverage. It, this has no coverage whatsoever, so I think that's why I don't really like it. I mean, it's not bad at all. It has SPF 20, and I mean, it's not bad. It didn't break me out. It doesn't stink. It just, I just... <sighs> I didn't care about it, you know, that's that's the truth, but I didn't have anything bad to say about this. Now, the BB cream. This thing, I did not like. I tried it on once and I, I took it off. It's super oily. And I'm not kidding. Look at this. Do you see the oil there? Yeah. It's, it's bad. And it smells like, um, sunscreen. So every time I put it on, I would think that I was putting it on sunscreen. <laughs> I mean, it does have a little bit of coverage. It doesn't really have that much coverage. So after I put this on, I had to wait like a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes to apply some powder on top to get some coverage. But yeah, I don't like it and I don't recommend it. And if you have oily skin, stay away from this because this is like pure oil. Okay, maybe not, but it's oily. Next, I'm gonna go with the lip products, which I got all of the lip glosses from the Extra Lip Gloss uh, line, I guess. And I love them. Uh, they have great pigmentation. I went and Scott on my lips today with Nude from Milani. But uh, this one has shimmers, and I don't think my lips are like, pew, poor shimmer, you know? And they have great pigmentation, so you can definitely wear this on their own. I like it better with a lipstick though. But they smell really good and I love them and they're only two dollars so get you some. Alright, next I have this e.l.f. lip stains. Lucky lady I I was all excited about because it's my colors. You know I I'm not into like bright like in your face colors like really dark colors. I like neutral colors better. So I was excited about this. They dry matte. They dry matte. This does not stain your lips whatsoever. Around two hours after applying this 
uh, lip stain on. It was completely gone. You can't see it whatsoever. So I did not like this because it's not stainy. And also, it doesn't smell good. It smells like chemically. So I did not like this one. This one, which is obviously not my color, stains your lips. It really stains your lips. Uh, I had a hard time getting it off. And I mean, if you like red, definitely get this one because your lips look really good. I tried it on at night every time I used it. And uh, it didn't leave that ring that you, you know, when you eat or something, you get that it fades in here. It didn't do that with me. So that's good. If you like red, definitely get this one. I think it's only $3. And it's really good. Next I have is the brow pencil. And I really, 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 really love this thing. I used to only use powder on my eyebrows. And now I haven't stopped using this every time I do my makeup. I love it. Uh, I love how easy it is to use. I love that you don't need to sharpen. It's retractable. Retractable. Um, you know, it has spoolie. It's not super little, but it's not super big. It doesn't bother me. I don't really care. My eyebrows, they just go like this. So I don't really have to use it. I just use it to blend it because my eyebrows, they're not that, you know, crazy and stuff. I am wearing it right now. I use this and then I put a little bit of Naked 2 eyeshadow on top of my eyebrows to make them last longer and it's very creamy and pigmented and extremely easy to use and it's only two dollars next I'm going to talk about uh, powders uh, that I got I got this uh, mineral blush and this is in the color Sweet Retreat and I love it I'm using it right now and it's just so pretty because it's, you know, a color that you can build up. You know, it gives you that natural blush, but you can also build it up to look more like, bam. It's perfect. It's perfect color. And it's not powdery at all. Next, I have the highlighter, which it's on my face too. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see the light? It's like, pew. I think it's such a pretty color. And I actually uh, use the tapered brush to apply it. So I have to, you know, do a little bit, apply it, and a little bit more to build it up. And it's not extremely glittery. It's just, it's so pretty. I really, really like it. All right, so the blending brush. I have, like, mixed emotions about this one. I like it, but I don't like it. It's not super soft. I mean, I like it for the crease. And that's it. I don't like to blend with this brush whatsoever I'm not I think it's because of the shape yeah I think it's because of the shape I mean it's a good brush though if you guys can get your hand on this one I would get it I mean it's a good brush I'm just kind of picky sometimes so but it's a good brush uh this brush I like it I actually like it the more I saw it I was like nah it's not for me but it's really easy to use and it's really easy to blend with this too. I had seen reviews and people were like, it's super hard to blend with it. Not at all. I think it's easy. You just, you know, it's easy. I don't remember how much it is, but it's a really good brush. All right. And then we have the Ultimate Blending Brush. I really, really, really like this brush. As you can see, it's dirty because I used it. It's dense, but it's not so dense. And it's soft and it's great for blending. I've washed it a few times and it has never shed on me. I love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Lots of kisses from me to you and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Bye.